back for more fun and excitement. I know you couldn't wait. Let's keep going with more of these. Get used to doing this. You're just moving decimal points left and right, a certain number of hops. How about this? 80 micrograms. That's what we know. That's where I am right now. I'm looking to see how many milligrams it is. So where am I starting? At micrograms, right there. Where am I trying to get to? Why well, I'm getting to right there. So if I'm leaving here, trying to get to here, I move which way? Left. How many places? One, two, three. You hope you hope you see this how it works. Okay. I'm merely moving the dot, the decimal point, three little jumps to the left. Well, where is the dot? There's no dot. There is a dot. We've gone over this before with a whole number. The dot is on the far right. We move three places to the left. One, two, three. Of course, I put a zero there to take up the space and my dot ends up right there. Here we go again. How do I write that number? I've got to put a zero to the left of the dot because there's nothing else there. And I don't put that there. I drop those trailing zeros to the right. So how do I write that? How do I write that? That's 0 0.08 milligrams, and write the proper symbol. Okay. So 80 micrograms, the same thing as 0 0.08 milligrams. You see what we're doing. Another problem. This newborn little baby just popped out little thing weighs 3.46 kilograms but I need to know for some strange reason how many grams does a little crumb cruncher weigh he's not crunching crumbs yet okay so I'm going from oh where kilograms is here he's going I'm going to grams so to go from kilograms to grams I move to the right one two three places so I start out with this 3.46, the dot's right there. I go one, two, three, put the zero there to take up the space. The dot ends up right there. Of course, I don't put the dot there because it's a whole number. What's my number? 3,460 grams. As I said earlier, 3,460. Any number that's a thousand or more, you really just, to make it easier to read, you should put a comma where the commas go, right there. So, and make sure, that's an ugly comma, make sure that when you write a comma, you do it so you can tell your comma from a dot. If your comma looks like a dot, somebody's in real trouble, you're in trouble. And your patient is too for getting the wrong amount of medicine. So do it right. So, there's that one. Let's keep going. Oh boy, isn't this fun? We're going to convert 250 milliliters and see how many liters that is. Well, where's milliliters on the chart? Well, it's right here. Where's liters on the chart? Why, well, it's right here. So, to go from here to here, I go which way? Left. How many jumps? One, two, Three. I jump three decimal places to the left. Here we go again. A whole number. The dot is on the far right. I go to the left. One, two, three. Put the dot there. I'm doing these over and over to make sure you understand how to write these numbers. How would I write that number? There's nothing else to the left of the decimal point, so I put a zero there. But I don't leave that zero there. I drop it. He is totally unimportant. So what's the answer? 0 0.25 liters. 250 milliliters, same thing as 0 0.25 liters. Now notice everything you've done so far, the kilo things, the main ones, the milli things, and the micro. Ignore this one. They're all 333. Three, three. Here's the oddball. Oh, bless his little heart. He's kind of weird. He, he's, he doesn't go 333. Three, three. He's kind of stuck in the middle there. You might need it though. So here's what's going on. I've got something 14.3 centimeters long, about like this, okay? I need to know how many millimeters is that? Well, 
And if I know how many centimeters something is, I'm trying to find how many millimeters it is, I'm moving this to the right only one place. Just whoosh, one little hop. So 14.3, the dot goes from here. One jump to the right. Dot ends up there, although I don't write it because it's a whole number. And the answer is 143 millimeters. So 14.3 centimeters is 143 millimeters. Let's start with that same number though. 14.3 centimeters. Let me figure out though how many meters that is. Hey, meters is right here. So if I'm starting from centimeters and I'm trying to find out the number of meters, I'm going to the left. How many places? Just two. So I start here, I go one, two, dot ends up there. I put a zero. Now here's another big problem to cause some indigestion and some gastroesophageal reflux disease. There are three places there. On a previous video, I talked about the fact when you divide two numbers, like you take two divided by seven, it's got a big long you know, point zero, 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 it keeps going, 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 going forever. Or you know, one divided by three is 0 0.33333. It goes on forever to infinity and beyond. And you have to stop it. So if a number, you divide two numbers, it goes on and on and on, and it's less than one, you stop it where? At the hundredths place. I discussed this in a previous video. You should know it already. You stop it at two decimal places. Well, this goes out to three. Here's the deal. We didn't divide two numbers to get here. We just move the decimal. So in a problem like this, if the answer ends up 0 0.143, ends up this, leave it that way. You're better off doing that than trying to round off. So if you use that rule where you round it off to hundredths, you'd call it 0 0.14. But since we didn't divide two numbers to get that answer, all we did was move a decimal left and right at this point, it's better to leave that as it is because exactly 14.3 centimeters is exactly 0 0.143 millimeters. So here's an exception to the rounding off rule I mentioned before. If you're merely moving decimals left or right, don't round off to that two decimal places, that hundredth thing. Okay, Leave it the way it is. Well, you need to, number one, Memorize this chart. You know, the main ones here, meter, gram, and by the way, you can put liter. The, the order of these three doesn't matter. That's just the three basic measurements, one for length, one for weight, and one for liquid volume measurements. 1,000 of any of those is kilo. That's three jumps to the left. 1,000th of any of those is milli. One millionth of any of those is micro. Those are all three, three, three. The oddball is the centi. It's one hundredth of something. So memorize all this. Know all these different symbols. The ones I didn't write, you don't have to know. But learn how to use that chart and do these conversions. Get used to this. Trust me, this is a very simple way to convert metric to metric measurements. Got to memorize that chart, but you will astound yourself why in a week or so, maybe a couple of years, uh, you'll have memorized this and you'll be doing these in your head left and right and then without even putting them on paper. You will surprise yourself at how smart you are. <laughs> really smart. And let's see, I think that's it for this particular lecture video. That was fun.